Yeah, nice. I have to admit something to you. I'm a grown man, and I still love playing with radio-controlled cars. The weather has been dreadful recently, though, and I've been looking for a way to take this hobby indoors. I wanted something fun and tiny that I could race around the house. While trawling the internet, I found this picture from an old Lotus 7 owner's manual, with all the dimensions marked, and I knew immediately that I'd have to model one. So I imported it straight into Fusion and began modelling. I started by just pulling out the rough shape and then added in some details. With something this size, I don't think it's worth going completely scale on it, so I haven't added things like springs and shocks. I'm just relying on the flexibility of the PLA to give me some suspension. I found a servo on Hobby King which would fit into the nose, and I designed up some gears to connect the motor to the wheels. And before I knew it, it was all designed and ready to print. We'll make a start by assembling the front of the car. First thing to do is put the wishbones into the nose. I added super glue to these off camera. Next we add an M3 screw to the steering arm and then use that to position the front mudguard and glue them together. We can then mount the steering arms to the wishbones using M2.5 screws and add the steering rod and push the servo into place. To link the servo and steering rod together, we put a couple of bends in a paper clip that are 12 mm apart. We can now use the paper clip to join the horn and steering arm. The wheels have a bearing snapped into their centre and O-rings are added as tyres. And finally, we can secure the wheels. Well, that's the complicated part done, so let's move on to the fun bits. I've pressed one of the gears onto the motor and now we can add the main axle, pushing another gear onto it as it goes into the chassis. The intermediate gear gets mounted on its own little shaft and the motor gets popped in. There's a little motor clamp that's screwed in from the bottom. And that's the drivetrain done in record time. The rear wings get glued on using the little holes here to line them up. The rear wheels have O-ring tyres again. I'm waiting on proper ones to arrive, but these larger ones will do for testing. The wheels just push straight onto the axle. And finally, we can screw the front on do the same with the bonnet. And our little car is mechanically complete. On to the electronics. I found this cheap no-name speed controller on Amazon. There's a standard three-channel receiver and a 180 milliamp hour LiPo battery. I'll leave links for all this down in the description. The receiver and speed controller are taped together, servo connected, and the power for the ESC is poked through the hole of the dashboard. The bonnet can now be put back on the car. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it should go. Now I must admit, I've had a couple of different size receivers. I was lucky with this one, but on others I've had to remove the casing to make them fit. If you do this, just make sure you insulate it with tape to stop any shorts. I can now connect the battery. It fits perfectly into the footwell area. Oh, you might have noticed I've changed the rear wings. I think I prefer them in black. What do you reckon? Go and click like if you think the black ones are better, or leave me a comment if you prefer them in yellow. On to messing around. This is so much fun. We've been playing with it loads indoors and out on the deck. For something so simple, it's really fast and manoeuvrable. If you want to see more awesome projects like this, then please subscribe. Hit like if you've enjoyed this, and leave me a comment down below if you think I should have done something different. The CAD and STLs are linked down in the description. Please let me know if you decide to make one. See you later.